Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in hacker rank. So today is the day 25 and today we solve the problem about running time and complexity. So let's go to the problem. So today's problem is very simple. We simply check a number is prime or not. But here a simple trick is present. You have to implement this algorithm in big O root n time complexity. Basically when we implement an algorithm for check a number is prime or not the algorithm time complexity is big O n that means it is the linear time complexity but to solve this problem you have to optimize your solution and try to come with a algorithm solution that have a time complexity of big O root n so I think you understand but if you do not know what is time complexity i give you a simple overview that the time complexity of the algorithm is the amount of time taken to run the algorithm so if you want to know more about time complexity then you simply go through some tutorial or youtube video and you also select this view editorial to learn more about time complexity so I simply go to the sample input so here is the sample input at first line the 3 that means the number of test cases and then the 3 integer element 12, 5 and 7 is present for each number we have to check it is prime or not and if it is prime then you simply print prime and if it is not then simply print not prime so I think it is very simple problem so I go to my hacker rank editor and for this problem we select C and C++ language but today at first we select C++ because for all the videos I made I select C at first so today I select C++ at first so now I simply write a basic solution or simple solution for this problem and after that we optimize this to pass all the test cases so first we simply declare a variable and name it simply t that means it is the number of test cases and then take the input from user for t variable and then make a for loop not for this I simply take an while loop and inside of while loop I write t minus minus so t times the while loop is iterate so inside of this while loop I simply declare an variable and name it number so it is the actual integer number which is given by user after this I simply take the user input and store it in the number variable then I simply make a base condition if the number is less than 2 then you simply see out that not prime so then endl and else condition inside of this else condition I simply make a for loop and inside of this for loop I declare an i variable initialize it to 0 and i less than the number and i plus plus so the definition of the prime number is that it is not divisible by any number except itself and one so you have to check the number is divided by any number except the number itself and one so that's why we simply start from two and go up to number minus one so that that's why i put less than and if you want to put a equal sign then you have to give number minus 1 so I simply write less than the number so inside of this for loop h and every time you have to check so I write if the number modulus i equal to equal to 0 or not so if it is divisible by any of the number from 2 to number minus 1 then I simply declare and check variable so I simply declare this check variable after the number is taken from user because for all the number 
we have to check so and initialize this check variable to zero so inside of this if condition if the number is divisible by any of the number between 2 and the number minus 1 then we simply initialize the check equal to 1 so then we simply put a break condition and because we simply want one number which is divisor of this number variable so that's why when we get one divisor of this number then we simply break that means we simply get out from this for loop and when we simply come out from this for loop after that we simply check if the check variable is one or not if it is one then you simply see out not prime and then end l okay and else that means it has no divisor except the number itself and one so in this case i simply see out prime and you don't forget to make this p in capital after that end l so i think my code is done so i simply click the run code to check and it shows that sample test case 0 and 1 is passed so i submit my code to check some additional test cases so here shows that sample test case 7 and 8 is failed so why it is fail if you go to this input section of this test case you simply see that this input are very large and when this input are very large then the time taken by this algorithm is also very large so that's why we have to optimize this solution and how i optimize this solution so if we put the number divided by 2 so if we put this thing and then simply submit the code we simply check if the test case 7 or 8 is passed or not but this time the 8 and 9 test case is not passed that means we have to optimize our solution more so that's why we simply make square root of this number so then i simply submit my code and this time the test case 9 is failed so why because you have to put the equal sign here to pass all the test cases so i think this time all the test cases are passed so it shows that here a compilation error so sorry because i give this inside of this so then i run the code so this time you see that all the test cases are passed so you ask that why we put the square of this number because when we simply put number here then this for loop is iterate the number of times so if you simply get the number equal to 12 then this for loop is execute 12 times but when this number is 1 lakh or something the large input then this for loop execute the 1 lakh time so this time this algorithm takes much more time but when we give this square root of this number then the square root of this 1 lakh is very small so this time this for loop execute much lesser than previous so for so in this way the algorithm of our problem is optimized and another way to optimize this solution is to simply put i into i here and then if you erase this quiet function then also this code is pass all the test cases so you see that all the test cases are passed because this time also the for loop is execute much lesser time than previous then i simply write the solution for c for that so i simply copy this whole main function and then select this C language and then I simply paste it here you know that for C language the C in and C out are not supported so that's why you have to change this C in 
into the scanf and put fasten d and ambassan t and then you also do the same for this okay so for c out you have to replace this by printf so inside of this printf not prime so here for not prime the p is not capital so after that i simply change this to print f and then not prime okay and then finally change to print f and this time p is capital prime okay so this much change you have to do for c solution so i simply click directly submit code and it shows that test case 0 1 and all the test cases are fail so why this test case are fail so i simply go to my code and oh i simply forget this slash n to print in the new line so simply put this for every print f and this time i submit my code and you see that all the test cases are passed so so friend if you like my video please press the like button and also don't forget to subscribe my channel so this is the day 25 see you in the next video thank you friend goodbye